Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I'll be creating in my paper towel journal. Um, this, all these pages are made from paper towels that were layered together. Um, and I've done quite a few spreads in this and I will be working in here. I only have a few left really um, after this one. So I'll have this in fast forward mode and a voiceover so you guys know what's going on. And yes, yeah, so um, let's get on with the video. So to start off with, I'm going to apply some paint with my fingers. So I was just putting those um, sheets of paper to protect my previous pages. And I just put like a touch of almond um, color paint, some sap green and some cerulean. Um, and because like these pages are, have already got color on it, I tried to um, make them kind of blend together so they work well. Um, that was just some blue mist there and I'm going to add some more almond color to the page as well as some pale mau mauve, which is that purple color. Um, and some orange so I'm just kind of drawing colors from these um, pages to create my background and I do try to have some of the um, page shine through but sometimes I cover it up and I'm going in with some red that's a warm red I can't remember the name of it though and I'm going over quite lightly because I want to be able to pick up some of that like texture and now just to blend everything together and lighten the page I'm going to go in with some chalk primer um, that also will pick up some of the texture of the page because these pages are extremely textured as well as lighten it as you can see and now I'm just going to go through um, my book paper and pick some images. This is from a dictionary slash encyclopedia, quite an old one, I think. Um, and that's what I've been using for my focal images um, on these pages, both of my paper towel mini journal and my mini journal. And I'll link like some previous videos in an iCard in the top right hand corner so you could see. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed using those as focal images. I think it's quite Fun and I've never really done that before so um, I'm really enjoying like the look of it so I'm going to pick some of these ladies and um, like three of them look like they were standing quite close together and then another and then like the fourth one looked as if she was kind of standing further away so I thought I would kind of go with um like she's standing out from the crowd kind of look so once I've torn them out I'm going to um, add some color like around the edges of them just so that they both like blend in with the page like the background a little bit kind of look a bit more cohesive but um i don't want them to completely disappear so i won't color in the ladies themselves just the background of the book paper um and then i'll make sure and like kind of go around later on with like some uh like black just so that they stand out because i don't want them to kind of just disappear right into the background and I'm just using my DIY sprays um, to color the paper. That's what I've been using mostly. It's quite simple since I could just like open it up and just stick my paintbrush in. Um, and that also helps because sometimes the, the DIY sprays are like slightly different shades from the colors that I've used for the background, which helps them stand out a bit. So you can see it goes with the page, but they don't like disappear too much into it. I'm going to edge the images with my stays on ink pad and that will help them um, stand out. I think I'll also go around the edge of the page as well. Yep, I will. And that also helps to ground the page and the images. Um, dark colors like black um, help ground and then bright colors like white help um, images to pop and stand out. So now I'm just trying to figure out like how I'll write the um, quote or phrase um I wasn't too sure how I wanted to put it just yet so but I do know that I wanted to have something to do with standing up from the crowd so you can see I made a bit of a mess with my clear chalk primer while I was mixing it um, but c'est la vie that just happens um so I'm just cleaning up my hands before I prime this strip of book paper it's a nice plain strip of book paper from like one of the pages I'm just going to color it with like the same inks um so that when I write the um quote um, on it it'll as well go with the page so it won't look as stark because I've, if I just like written straight onto it it would look pretty stark um, and I did want it to um, blend in just a little bit 
So I felt as if the colours around the ladies were a bit too bright, so I'm just going to push that back a bit with the chalk primer, and I also do that on the um, book paper strip, which I'll be using for the phrase. And off camera, um, I wrote, I like to stand out from the crowd onto the, um, the book paper strip. And then I stuck those, I cut those out with the uh, scissors. And then I stuck that onto more plain book paper so that there would just be kind of a layer between the color and the page so that it would stand out, um, but still look cohesive. And I also backed the images with some plain book paper as well. And as you can see, I am edging everything with my stays on ink pet. So I'll stick everything down with my tacky glue. Um, this is the best glue I find to use on these pages. They're so textured and sometimes what I'm sticking on can be a little bit heavy. So I do that I just make sure I'm pressed quite firmly and sometimes you have to put something on top of them for them to dry. And I'll do that to um, the phrase as well. And um, I think once I do that I might add some like gold to the lady who's standing out. Um, like to her dress and everything and maybe add some splashes I believe yeah um because I do like to add gold to my page and I would have added it to like everybody but since she was supposed to be standing out I'll just add it to her and um you might see me kind of go back over and press again just because sometimes they like to lift up a little bit when um I stick it down first but once it's dry it is there so I'm going to um go around the phrases uh with my sharpie pen this both dries permanent which is perfect and it's quite um, a fine line pen so that helps them to stand out as well I'm going to add some white splashes using a fan brush and some chalk primer um, and yeah so that's pretty much it I think I add some highlights with my Unibowl signal and again I'm going in with that gold oh I'm using my calligraphy pen as well so I'm out of the country at the moment um, so please do sign up to my newsletter I'll link that below you will also be able to find out why I'm out of the country as well um, so yes yeah, so you can find out what's going on and when you subscribe you'll be able to find out when I'm back in the country um, and I think that's it so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already click that bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video um comment below if you're enjoying these videos and you'd like to see more and if you get inspired please do like tag me on instagram you can join my facebook group which is also linked below because i would love to see your guys creations it's always cool to see what pe different people do with like the same kind of inspiration so thanks again for watching and i hope you join me again for another rt video bye